Hi there, my name is Sam from Versus.com and welcome to a new comparison video between the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and the Apple iPhone 12 Pro Max. We are comparing both phones in terms of display, performance, camera, design and battery. Stay tuned and find out which phone is in our opinion the better phone. If you'd like to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's start straight away with our review, let the facts speak. Display the iPhone 12 Pro Max has a 6.7 inch display with a 1284p resolution. The 6.7 inch display therefore measures 17 cm diagonally with a pixel density of 458 ppi. The iPhone's OLED screen creates as usual very natural colors. The refresh rate on the iPhone 12 Pro Max is 60Hz. We still don't get why Apple didn't at least update the Pro version to 120Hz refresh rate or even 90Hz. Up next is the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Samsung at least tries to implement this feature. It is not perfect yet, but still better. Let's take a look. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra has a 6.9 inch display with a 1440p resolution. It is fitted with an OLED screen which does a fantastic job. The 6.9 inch display therefore measures 17.5cm diagonally with a pixel density of 496 ppi. The Note 20 has the 2020 must-have feature of an impressive 120Hz refresh rate, but this is not possible with the highest resolution. So this time we had the bigger version of the iPhone 12 Pro series in direct comparison to the Note 20 Ultra. And in this case, Samsung's device still comes out better than the iPhone. It still has a higher resolution and pixel density. In terms of display size, it is still a little bit bigger. The iPhone 12 Pro Max with its 60Hz falls behind the Note 20 Ultra with its 120Hz. The Galaxy wins the point in this category. Camera The iPhone 12 Pro Max has a triple rear camera system. It features a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 12 megapixel wide, and a 12 megapixel telephoto camera. The front's camera resolution is also 12 megapixel. The iPhone 12 Pro Max records 4K videos at a maximum of 60 frames per second. And of course, it has image stabilization for video. The 12 Pro Max also has a sensor shift optical image stabilization for its wide angle camera. So much for the specs of the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Let's now dive into the camera specs of the Note 20 Ultra. The Note 20 Ultra has three main cameras, an ultra-wide, a wide-angle and a telephoto camera. The cameras have a resolution of 108 megapixel, 12 megapixel and another 12 megapixel. The front camera's resolution is 10 megapixel and it is built into the hole punch nut in the upper center of the screen. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra records 8K videos at a maximum of 24 frames per second. And of course it has image stabilization for video. Both phones have good camera systems, but which one is actually the better system? Let's take it to our camera test and let's find out which one does a better job. The iPhone 12 Pro Max takes sharp pictures with great color rendering. Pictures taken with the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra are equally sharp and color rendering is good. Both phones take sharp images with their front camera. The 12 Pro Max has a 5-fold optical and a 12-fold digital zoom feature. The Note 20 on the other hand has a 5-fold optical and a 50-fold digital zoom feature. But zoomed in all the way it does not make sense. This feature is in our opinion not an advantage. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra thanks to a resolution of 8K produces top quality videos. Full HD mode offers 240 frames per second and HD mode up to 960 frames. Which records really great slow motion videos. The iPhone thanks to a resolution of 4K also produces first test videos. With with 240 frames per second and full HD mode, your slow motion videos are a go. We still prefer the iPhone image stabilization to that of the Samsung's. The point for the best camera in this comparison goes to the iPhone. The overall image quality is better than that of the Samsung. Once again, a high amount of megapixel does not necessarily produce better looking images. If you want to see a more detailed camera review of the iPhone 12 Pro Max, click here. Performance. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra model that we use in this comparison has the Samsung Exynos 990 chip with 2x 2.7GHz and 4x2.4GHz and 2x1.95GHz for a solid performance. Keep in mind that this is a European version. The Note 20 Ultra version which is sold in the USA, China and South Korea has also the Snapdragon 865 Plus built in. This phone has 12GB RAM with 256GB internal storage capacity. There is also a version with 500GB internal storage capacity on the market. The storage capacity can be expanded by up to 1TB. So the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra comes with its in-house produced processor. Let's check out what the iPhone works with. The iPhone 12 Pro Max is equipped with Apple's A14 Bionic chip. The phone has 6GB RAM and the individual models offer different storage capacities. 128, 256 and 512GB are available. Storage capacity unfortunately cannot be expanded as it is typically for Apple iPhone devices. 
the A14 Bionic chip in combination with the bigger Pro version came out strong in previous comparisons. Now it is against Samsung's weak Exynos chip, since this is the European version. Let's take them into the Antutu benchmark test and find out which phone performs better. The tests are divided into three phases. A performance test of the RAM, a test of how the device is handling two-dimensional graphics and an endurance test of how the device is handling 3D graphics. The iPhone clearly outperformed the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra in this comparison. The A14 Bionic chip did a better job than the Exynos. The 12 Pro Max takes home the performance point. If you want to see the full performance test, click here. Design Samsung uses a very elegant matte finish for its Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. The triple camera system is well positioned on the upper left corner on the back of the phone. Unfortunately, like the S20 series, the camera bump sticks out a lot. The smartphone weighs 208 gram, it's roughly 16.48 cm long, 7.72 cm wide and 0.81 cm deep. It has a USB-C connector. The IP68 rating makes it also water and dust resistant. The Note 20 Ultra uses face recognition technology and a fingerprint scanner which is built into the screen to unlock the phone. Both technologies work great. One special feature that the Note has is the built-in S Pen, which comes handy if you like to draw, take notes, etc. The Note 20 Ultra is a huge phone, but the iPhone 12 Pro Max is also huge. Let's take a closer look. The iPhone 12 Pro Max has a glossy stainless steel frame and a matte glass finish on the back. Typically for Apple, it has a very high-end look and feel to it. The triple cameras are well positioned on the upper left corner on the back of the phone. The smartphone weighs 228 gram. It's roughly 16 cm long, 7.81 cm wide and 0.74 cm deep. It uses Apple's lightning connector and is IP68 rated, so it's water and dust resistant. And it is supposed to be 4 times more drop resistant than previous models. The iPhone uses face recognition technology to unlock the phone. The Face ID as usual works perfect at daylight and also good in a weak light environment. We already mentioned in our comparison of the iPhone 12 Pro with the Note 20 Ultra that we think that the Note 20 is massive. Now we have the bigger version of the iPhone 12 Pro Max and we think that both phones are massive. In terms of secure handholding, we think that Apple's device still feels more secure. Comparing the camera systems, Apple came up with a better looking one since Samsung's is huge. The design of the iPhone has, like the smaller version, a more high-end feel and touch to it and is, in our opinion, the overall better looking smartphone. Therefore, we give this point once again to the iPhone. But as always, this is our subjective opinion. We'd love to hear what you think. Tell us in the comments below which phone should have won the point in this category and why. Battery the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra when fully charged at 4500mAh. The iPhone on the other hand when fully charged has only around 3687mAh. In terms of capacity, the Note 20 Ultra should last longer. Let us find out whether that's really the case in our day-to-day -day usage test. The Apple iPhone 12 Pro Max failed again in this category. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra has the capability to reduce the refresh rate when a high rate is not needed. That saves battery. Plus, the bigger battery also helps to last longer. But once again, both phones got through a whole day of normal usage. It always depends on the way you use your phone and the settings you use it in. Conclusion to find out which of these huge phones won in this comparison video, we gotta go through all the categories to collect the points. We started with the display, which won the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, since it is slightly bigger and has compared to the 60Hz of the iPhone a 120Hz refresh rate capability. When it comes to performance and the camera system, the iPhone 12 Pro Max is clearly the winner. Since Apple has in our opinion a great high-end design, the iPhone 12 Pro Max won this point. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra takes home the point for the longer lasting battery. The iPhone just couldn't keep up with Samsung's battery in this one, but that couldn't help the Note 20 to win since iPhone already scored 3 out of 5 points. And therefore is Apple's iPhone 12 Pro Max the overall winner in this comparison. Naturally, we review more than these 5 categories covered here. If you want to see the full comparison, follow the link to our website. You can compare up to 7 different smartphones at versus.com. But before you do that, please post your comments and let us know which phone you think Thanks first. If you liked our video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Till then, take care and see you soon.